been a week, possibly two, since I last uh, worked on this. Um, I've been waiting on the buck converter for the fan, and that is on a very, very slow boat from China. Um, so this is a Saturday and it supposedly is going to arrive today, someday. So I decided I was going to mount the uh, USB port in here and I measured or I marked out and I uh, hit with a punch to so I could drill it and cause the case to crack. Um, I tried to stop drill it, and I, after I, when I was drilling this stop drill hole, or uh, yeah, I uh, found out that it had started going up the side, so I had to do another stop drill right here. Um, what I'll have to do is I'm going to try and um, maybe glue this uh, shut or something. I don't know. With the stop drill there, um, it shouldn't crack anymore. But, yeah, apparently this is pretty brittle stuff. So what I'm doing is I, I marked and drilled two holes here. I didn't punch them. I just drilled them carefully. And I'm going to mount them with two 440 screws um, using uh, nuts or something as standoffs. And um, then cut a hole in here for the... Uh, to allow you to plug in the uh, USB cable. <clears throat> okay. Um, so it's mounted in there. I uh, just stuck the two 440 uh, nuts up or bolts up through the bottom, put a nut on top of it, and then uh, another, put it through the holes, and then another nut. Um, I had to cinch them down together because there was no way to tighten the nuts, but uh, it's there, it's solid, it won't go anywhere. Um, and then I did my best to carve out uh, the uh, hole there. We'll find out if it's big enough for any plug that I have. Um, might have to be wallered out a little more. Um, so now we just have to wait till I get the the uh, buck converter so I can get the fan working um, and then she'll be done. Um, like I said in one of my previous in my previous video, um, I was going to build a power supply, but after I started building it, ran into some problems. Um, and after thinking about it for a while, I realized um, I only needed to be able to output probably at the max 24 volts. Um, I have very, I don't even hardly have anything that runs on 24 volts. I have that, uh, that lift that uses 24 volts. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, so, uh, my bench power supply can put out 27 plus, just a little more than 27 volts, which is more than enough to put out uh, 24 volts on this. And it can handle the 15 amps. Uh, I believe it can put out 20 amps. I don't even know if I'll ever use 15 amps, but I've uh, done everything up with uh, 15 amps. Um, I have made I made myself a connector. This is uh, number 10 uh, landscaping wire, um, which is rated at, uh, well, this is the confusing part about amp ratings. When I've been researching it, I get numbers that are all over the place. Um, same size wires will have different ratings based on different criteria and uh, uh, different applications I have seen like if you're talking about house wiring this can handle no more than um, I believe it's 30 amps yet in 
for what I'm doing, it's actually rated 50 amps. Um, and yet I've seen other things that say that it can handle more, some that say it can handle less. Um, I used these with uh, 30 amp connectors, which they really didn't fit. I uh, had to open them up. Um, uh, after doing some more research, I found out that I should have put the 45 amp connector on it. It would have it would have fit in there better. Um, but uh, it, it's in there. It's going to work, and it'll more than adequately handle the amperage. Um, so uh, basically, what I would say, if you use these Anderson power poles, go with the size they say for the amp rating that they say their plugs are rated at. Um, for the 15 amp ones, I believe they're rated at, uh, they use number 14, or 14 gauge wire. Uh, for the 30 amp ones, they recommend 12, and for the uh, 45 amp ones, they recommend 10. And that's basically what the wires are sized at. So, you know, um, that's the best I can tell you with these. And as soon as that part gets in, we'll work on it. Hey, hey! Look what finally arrived! The buck converter. Alright, I'm going to uh, get this thing, get this puppy mounted up, and uh, get this ding project finished. Okay, well, this is the last part. Um, before I screwed it in, I hooked up power to it, and I set the voltage about almost exactly 12 volts, maybe about a little tiny bit under, and uh, so I give it power. And there's the fan, and I think that'll work pretty good. Let's see how... Let's see how that sounds. Well, that pulls quite a bit of uh, air through that opening. I don't think this thing will ever get hot. So uh, last thing to do is uh, button it up and uh, try it out on a few things. Okay, it's uh, it's together. Um, The uh, handle's on, which uh, this handle and this box can be placed in different locations, uh, I guess for carrying it. Um, and there's so you tilt it up. Um, I put, like I said, I put rubber feet on it, so it's less likely to slide. The ones that came with it are plastic. Still pretty light. Um, definitely pulling a generous amount of heat or uh, air. So but it's getting late in the day. Um, and I'm gonna maybe mess with this tomorrow.